Hi, uh, this is Claudia, he is Giacomo. We are two out of five uh, Fosbury Architecture um, Collective, which was born in 2013, exactly 10 years ago. Um, the name Fosbury um, comes after uh, the athlete uh, Dick Fosbury, who uh, in 1968 uh, won the Olympic uh, medals, um, the, the golden medal at the Olympic Games, uh, by uh, jumping for the first time with the back first technique. Uh, Dick was not uh, was uh, was not uh, a um, let's say was was kind of an average athlete, uh, but uh, what we saw and what we the reason why we've been so much intrigued by his figure is that by just reverting the rules, uh, he was being able to change completely uh, the discipline. So um, this is exactly what uh, I mean. Uh, uh, what we what we what we saw in this. So not so much a nymph. To, towards invention, but towards uh, and I, um, but rather um, let's say um, a way to try to change the rules uh, within uh, uh, a predefined system. Okay. Um, how, uh, as part of this race, how did Fosbury end up, ended up creating this year's pavilion? Well, we uh, participated to an invited competition by the Ministry of Culture uh, together with other nine teams and uh, we uh, compiled a project that more or less has, had already uh, the shape that you can see here in the uh, pavilion. It is about uh, uh, looking into uh, how uh, the, the discipline is changing and how the discipline can, uh, uh, um, let's say, react to the current urgencies from uh, uh, scenarios of uh, uh, transition, ecological, digital and so on, but also uh, from a scenario of crisis, environmental and so on. <laughs> so the Italian pavilion responds to this year uh, theme of uh, the laboratory of the future. Can you tell us a bit how you are aligned, uh, how, you, how you basically aligned uh, the different interventions with the theme? and the process of uh, the different uh, site-specific interventions leading to this level? Um, we conceive actually the Italian pavilion as a laboratory as well. Probably not of the future, but of current times. Um, this is the reason why we decided to invest a major part of, uh, of uh, the funds allocated to the pavilion to produce new projects in nine specific locations outside, so specifically in the peninsula, in the territory, and try to activate, in fact, uh, um, bre either brand new or insert into process that we felt as uh, very, um, um, very, 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 relevant, meaningful, uh, adding a new episode to something that was already existing. And how how would you describe that this is put into place through the exhibits inside the pavilion? So basically what we can see here is a th synthesis of what has been happening uh, 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 through Italy in the uh, previous months. Uh, where we put together uh, uh, nine special practices and nine advisors coming from other fields of creativity. Uh, they have been collaborating with local interlocutors such as incubators, uh, museums, associ local associations uh, in order to produce uh, projects whose lifespan uh, is meant to go beyond uh, the, the end of this Biennale. Uh, so um, in terms of uh, uh, what you can see here, uh, there is on the one hand a, a huge void in the first of the two rooms that somehow symbolize the fact that uh, the exhibition expands ideally uh, through the Italian uh, peninsula. Uh, then, in the second room, you have a series of installations that are uh, with different formats, uh, either abstract representations of uh, uh, what have been done locally or actual pieces of what have been done there. And finally, uh, the documentation uh, of uh, all the uh, processes and activation is, is possible to be seen in the two projections on the short sides of the room, uh, where an algorithm uh, fishes 
uh, from uh, more than a thousand uh, videos, footage, uh, um, somehow uh, trying to find uh, the similarities among those uh, different projects. And what do you expect that the global visitors that are coming to the Biennale throughout this year will take with them after seeing this, uh, the Italian pavilion? I think that first of all it will be fantastic for us uh, if uh, can, could be understood the process. So the fact that in fact, as we were saying, the main projects are happening outside and here there is just a synthesis. Uh, sometimes even allegories or what or something happening uh, elsewhere. On the other side, uh, we would love the visitor to bring with him or her uh, this idea of a renovated ways of practicing. So this conception of practicing architecture, which nowadays uh, needs a sort of rethinking and a change in terms of um, empathy and uh, conception and in terms of uh, awareness of the impact which our action imply on the territories. The title of the exhibition is Everyone Belongs to Everyone Else. What do you mean by the statement? Uh, so basically the title could be read at two different levels. On the one hand, it refers, uh, it refers to the interdependencies uh, among uh, all the actors, uh, that uh, uh, every action that one does have an impact on, on collectivity. And on the other, on the, uh, refers to the huge team that we have put together to realize this, because if you sum up uh, the huge amount of participants and the local actors, it is a very large crowd that collaborated into that. Thank you. Thank you.